everyone who receives benefits must sign what is called a claimant commitment. This is an agreement, a legally binding contract, between you and the government. The government promises to give you money. In return, you promise to do certain things about trying to find work. This agreement is drawn up between you and the work coach at the job centre. OK, we've got all your personal details, uh, your work history and your skills, etc. Uh, now we're going to talk about your claimant commitment. Do you know what that is? I'm not sure. OK. Uh, the claimant commitment is the name of the contract between you and the job centre. You have to sign a claimant commitment and agree to the activities in it so you can get your benefits. Do you understand that? I think so. We'll talk about what's reasonable to expect you to do to try and get a job. You have to tell me if you think you'll have problems doing anything I suggest and why you would have problems, such as ill health or difficulty in reading and writing. Once you've agreed what's reasonable for you to do and we're sure you understand it all, I will ask you to sign the form, OK? You must tell the job centre if you have problems which might stop you from doing anything which is suggested. Everyone is different and you might agree to different things from someone else. Some might agree to improve their computer skills. You might agree to apply for a certain number of jobs every week. You might agree to attend a training course. Some might agree to try to work for more hours. But one thing is the same for everybody. The contract you sign is a legal document. Both sides must keep their promises. Are you sure you've understood everything we've talked about today? Yes. Let's go over it one more time. Do you know how many jobs you're expected to look for each week? Yes. Uh, what else do you have to do? I have to write a CV and keep it up to date, log on to Universal Job Match and complete online applications, come here and talk to a work coach every two weeks. Good. Anything else? I have to attend any job interview I'm offered. Don't forget about the training. You have to attend training courses and improve your computer skills. Do you have any uh, questions before uh, you sign this agreement? Yeah, I don't have a computer and you say all this has to be done on a computer. So what do I do? There are computers you can use here at the job centre and in libraries and in community centres. If you're not sure how to work a computer, we can get you signed up for some help. Not doing what is promised in the claimant commitment, the contract you have signed, brings penalties. They are called sanctions and that means that your benefits are cut or even removed. You give us permission to look at what you've been doing on Universal Job Match. We've done that and in the last two weeks you haven't applied for the right number of jobs we agreed in your claimant commitment. Why is that? I didn't think some of these jobs were worth applying for. I would never have got them and one of them was about 15 miles away. We made it quite clear when you signed the agreement, the claimant commitment, that you had to follow the rules or face a penalty. You haven't done that and so you may be sanctioned. So remember, if you receive benefits, the agreement you sign with the job centre is very important. Make sure you let the job centre know if you have problems with reading, writing, counting or using a computer they can arrange help for you. Other organisations which can help in different ways are listed at the end of this video. Make sure you understand what you have agreed to do and make sure you do it. If you feel you don't understand, ask the advisor before you sign. It's not just about putting your name on a piece of paper and getting your money. You have to keep your side of the bargain. That way you get all your money and avoid any penalties.